Hello, Wayne Rizuelo again. Yeah, tonight I'm going to make a recipe that is something girly. Yeah. So instead of baking, I'm not gonna bake. I'm just going to toast my flour. Okay, yep. So I'm going to make a pulberon. Yeah, probably heard it's a a famous Filipino dessert, a snack. So, for example, you're having, you're preparing a goodie bag, and you have no idea what to put in there. Then, pulberon, I think, is a classic idea. Yep. So the kids will love it because it's sweet. And yeah, since now Barbie movie is in the theater so if you're thinking of a recipe that is something girly go for pulberon if you don't want to bake make pulberon yep so these are the ingredients i have flour all-purpose flour powder milk crushed cooked chocolate cookies and cream sugar melted butter and i got here you won't see this in american store this is a molder you're going to mold it into like a candy and wrap it with a cellophane a wax paper so yeah it was so simple this is all you need these are all the ingredients that you need yep so right now i'm gonna go ahead and toast my flour and the rest of the ingredients okay and then i'm gonna put up all the videos together i'll show you until i wrap this into a little little uh, oval candies flat candies and that's it yep so right now i am toast, toasting the flour i'm stirring it constantly that we won't get burnt yep so there it is by the way i'm toasting it on medium medium heat Here you go. And now that it's so yeah, this time I need I'm gonna be adding up the powder milk. That's the powder milk. Yes, we have to cook the powder milk. And then the crushed cookies, uh, chocolate cookies. Here, we have actually that's supposed to be. I'm gonna give the cooked uh, ingredients list and the measurement later. Okay, and here's the sugar, and the last one that I'm gonna be adding up is the melted butter. Okay, so it's so simple, just three basic steps. The um, toasting of the dried ingredients, plus the, and the butter, lastly the butter, and then uh, putting in the mold, molding them, and then wrapping. So three basic steps, that's the, it's just easy. Okay, and then I'm gonna be Stirring in the melted butter. It should resemble a wet sand. Yep. Wet sand. Do you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the wet a wet sand? Uh, look, look at that. Yep. So my heat now is I'm gonna turn off the heat because the residual heat will kind of cook the rest of the ingredients although i can still see some uncooked crumbles yep 
So I need to stir them, mix them thoroughly, mix all the ingredients thoroughly, and that's it. Yep. I'll show you like it. It does really look like sand, not really so wet, but kind of moist. But I think that's the, that's the texture that we're looking for. Yep, so this is how the mixture looks like now. This is ready for uh, wrapping. Yep. So it's not really, the recipe says it should be wet. It should resemble a wet sand, but it wasn't specified how wet is wet. So I would say just moist. So kind of like this, as long as it can be molded. Because if it is a soaking wet, you're not going to be able to wrap it in a cellophane, right? So just common sense. <laughs> yep. So I would say moist. Yep, see, I can tell that this is moldable because I can, uh, I can pat it, pat it like to make it compact. So yeah, let's try. So I'm just going to spoon, a spoon some inside this smolder. This smolder had a spring that could pop, could pop this uh, molded mixture out when you try to push this uh, spring. So, the spring button. Okay, so this is the cellophane, clear cellophane. Uh, some people they use colored cellophane. Yeah, but I only found one kind, one color red, so it's fine. So yep, so push this, and there you go. See that? Yep, and then uh, fold it like kind of like a wrapping candy. I'm good at this because I'm good, as I told you before, I'm good in making recipes, food that can be wrapped, like spring rolls. Yeah, there you go. And when we were kids, we used to play sand, yeah, and we kind of molded it into our, some plastic bags, grocery bags, so that's why I'm good at this. We use empty cups, plastic cups. Okay, yep, that's it. And then I'll put it here. Yeah, this is perfect. I haven't, I haven't tasted it, but let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I got my gloves ready. This is ready to eat food. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I just made one. Okay. So, it's just to model to you <laughs> how do we serve the food safe. I don't want to get in trouble with my teachers. And I don't want them to spank me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not plastic. I'm real. I'm so real. I'm just try to follow what is right. So there. Okay? Scoop some in the molder, scoop in the mixture, make sure you it's compact. So you need to pat it, pat, 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 and press it down. And then get a cellophane. Okay, a cellophane. I cut them already too. Not square, kind of like close to rectangle. Close to square, but not really square. So there you go. Turn it upside down and then push the spring button down. There you go. Kind of like you're making a uh, sand castle using your bucket, your pale bucket. Yep. And just uh, twist both ends to close it up and that's it yeah this is perfect for gifting if you're making preparing a goodie bag 
and you do not know what, you have no idea what to get no, into your duty no. bag, they have made a pool room. So it will be one of those. Uh, yeah. yeah, snack. Perfect for a snack. So, when you're making this, take a look at that or when you're eating cobra, make sure that uh, you have a bottle of water. You should ready a bottle, ready a bottle of water, because you can get choked. <laughs> Remember, this is toasted flour, so dry. Yeah, but this this will make you full. Yeah. And if you're on diet, you're dieting, you don't want more carbs like rice. This is, I call it a slim people diet. <laughs> yeah, here in America, some people can have this already as lunch. <laughs> we'll go part of their lunch. Yeah. There you go. So, made. Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. What do you want some gift from us? Three basic steps toasting, molding, and then wrapping. That's it. Yeah. So, I'll end this video. I'll end this video. So, ta -da. this is the finished product. Yeah. Uh, cookies and pulver on. Pulvo means powder. Uh, cookies and cream, pulverum, cookies and cream. Yep, so I'm going to taste one. And I'm going to uh, show it to you. I made 27 pieces. I think I can make a 30, but I did not wrap the rest. So some wrappers are not perfectly cut because I bought, bought a whole one and I had to cut it myself. And yeah, it's not perfect. Some edges are really rough and jagged, but yeah, that's how life is, right? <laughs> and some are intact, but some got broken. But yeah, everybody, it's for everybody, you know, so that uh, everybody will find their perfect place in life. Yeah, so those that didn't make it. Some wrappers, I can't really uh, remedy it. So, the rest it worked, even though well, they're not perfectly cut, have some ripped rips, but it's fine. So, yeah, let me taste. I'm going to taste the Quran that this has. <laughs> now, I don't have enough uh, holding for it, but it's okay. Okay, let's have a little pour some on your hand and then pop it on your mouth. Or just bring it to your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as I said, make sure you have a bottle of water ready in case you get choked. But yeah, I'm eating it slowly, so that way I don't get choked and drink water later. <laughs> oh. yeah, this will make you full. Yeah. Three pieces of this and drink, and then a bottle of water, you're good. Salt. Salt ng lunch. <laughs> or your meal. But according to the recipe, this is for dessert. So, yeah. And you can have this, this is perfect for a snack. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Until next well, time. I have another technician out here.